Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter. Boom, 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 review stuff. And yes, I am back for another Starbucks review. I'm very excited about this one. Let me get my phone all ready so that I have it prepared so I can go with the recipe. Go with the recipe. So I can go with the flow of the recipe. The recipe is fine. The recipe is not mine. It's from Holly at TotallyTheBomb.com. And the recipe that we are reading today is, or that we are going to recreate and review, is you can get a salted caramel mocha macchiato from Starbucks that is a game changer. But before I do, I have to show you this. This is not sponsored. But these just came in the mail today. Now, my reading glasses that I wear around the house, and you see them in some of my other videos and stuff, are from Caddis, which I am completely obsessed with. Look at the box that they come in. They're so cute, right? And they stay on the box, the bottom, <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> they stay on the bottom of them. This is for people who are not in the long process of giving up. This has everything to do with age, but nothing to do with your job, your gender, or whether you live in Orange County or Hazard County. It has to do with being who you are and owning it. And I love this so much. But anyway, I ordered these because I'm outside a lot and it's hard for me to read when I'm outside. So I bought these reading sunglasses. Look at them. They are so cool. And these will help me do, is there like a, oh, they're, okay. They're kind of like bifocals. Oh my God, they're like bifocals. Like I can read with them, but I can drive with them too. Oh my God, how cool is that? I did not know that. And if you order these, they come with a little, uh, where's the inside of the box? Oh, this, okay. They come with, see it matches the box. And uh, this is a little where you put your glasses in it. And I will show you in my bag over here. Here are my reading glasses that I carry with me everywhere. These are another pair that you can get. Let's see, I'll show you. Hi, how are you? So anyway, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I cannot believe that these are like, bifocal sunglasses. Oh my God, how cool. Okay, so let's go in here and let's do this video. I'm like praying that I have not done this video before. Okay, um, you can get a salted caramel mo mocha macchiato. We should probably go in and check really quick to make sure that I haven't done this video already. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, Peter is uh, killing for uh, doing videos over and over and over again. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be so funny if I go in here and I just did this one. No, smoke vanilla. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this drink. One of my absolute favorite drinks from Starbucks has been the salted caramel mocha. The mixture of sweet and salty is just amazing. And she put a little picture up there. I wanted, that picture's from Starbucks, by the way. I wanted to give credit, to give full credit where credit's due. <laughs> I wanted to take this iconic drink and turn it into one of Starbucks' most popular drinks, the macchiato. And then she put a little picture up there. The salted caramel mocha macchiato is everything you could hope for and more. Sweet and salty, caffeinated, and absolutely delicious. Just put another picture up there. But be sure to grab our recipe below because this can't be found on the normal Starbucks menu. This is my personal creation and part of our Starbucks secret menu. Okay. How, and then she put another picture up there. How to order the salted caramel mocha macchiato. And then she put another picture up there. It, I, it looks very pretty. Very coffee pretty. <laughs> okay. Substitute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Where do we start? Start by ordering a grande iced caramel macchiato. Substitute the vanilla syrup with two pumps of mocha and two pumps of toffee nut. I'm skipping through all the pictures. Ask for mocha drizzle to be added as well as the caramel drizzle it comes with. Um, and then it's also optional to ask for a sea salt packet to go on top of the drink. You already get the salty taste from the toffee uh, nut syrup, so that is completely optional. Um, and that's how you make that amazing drink. Now, I don't know if they'll have sea salt, so I'll have to ask when I get over there and we will see. Oh my God, these glasses are fantastic. I can't believe it. These kind of remind me of Ray-Bans a little bit. I have a pair of Ray-Bans like this, but they're too small for my head. These are actually probably too small for my head as well, but you know what? It is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's what my mother-in-law always says. And I believe it too. Birds just always look like they have so much fun, don't they? They're just flying from place to place, hanging out on a telephone wire, eating leftover food and stuff. I think birds seem to just have the best life ever. Oh my Lord, there was a line a mile long at the Starbucks. Did something new come out or something? 
or is it just quitting? It's quitting hour. I don't know why, like, quitting time is busier at Starbucks than um, the morning time. Isn't that so interesting? Well, this at this Starbucks. I wonder if it's because people are coming um, this way on their way home, and so they're like, oh, well, well let's just stop at the Starbucks, because that would be a lot of fun, don't you think? All right, well, listen, there are three cars ahead of me, so I'm not gonna make you wait. I will be back in two and two. Okay, it's my turn. I was just cleaning up. I put everything back in the box, see? Clean up as you go. Hi there, look at the Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Could I please get a venti iced blonde Americano with an extra shot and two Splenda? Absolutely. And then can you help me make a drink? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I need to start by ordering a grande iced caramel macchiato. Alrighty. And I need to substitute the vanilla syrup with two pumps of mocha and two pumps of toffee nut. Alright. Two pumps of, you said mocha? And two pumps of toffee nut instead of the vanilla. Yeah. What else? Okay, and then I need mocha drizzle to be added as well as the caramel drizzle it comes with. Mocha drizzle and caramel drizzle. And then do you guys have any sea salt? We don't. We have regular salt. Okay, never mind then. Okay. But that's perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, you know, that comes to $10.79. Oh, thank you. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Okay. That's actually cheaper. Um, Cause my drink comes to like four forty-seven. So if it's $10, like that drink is like four something too. So it's not as bad as, and don't be jealous of my drink. My cup. I went all over Indianapolis trying to find the new blue studded cup and I was so bitter because they were sold out everywhere. <laughs> I don't think they're like, you know, you're supposed to um, only sell like two at a time at a, at a store. But a friend of mine like messaged me and he was like, I got three of them at the Westfield store. There's one left. And I was like, well, how did you get three? You're only supposed to buy two at a time. But I didn't say that because I'm a nice person. I'm a good citizen. I'm a nice person. Do you remember when you were in school and they would say, okay, we need to all be good citizens. I'm a good citizen and I'm a kind person. So I don't say rude things to people like, uh, why, why did you steal my cup that was sitting at the Westfield store? I didn't say that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to wait till we get up there. I'll be back in two and two. Okay, it's almost my turn. This one in front of me, she looked like she got some mochaccino frappuccino kind of deal. Oh, looks so good. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, Ben, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Quick question on the uh, caramel macchiato. Did you want mocha drizzle instead of the caramel drizzle? Both. Both, okay. Oh. 10.79. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty slow day. Yeah, it was just fast right now. There's like a lot of people through here, but you got them in like, and out, in and out. Yeah, this is like the one pop I've Thank had you. all day, pretty much. Really? Yeah, I came in at two, though, so I came at a good time. Do you think it's because of the uh, the construction? Yeah, that's definitely a big part of it. And just recently, with it being so humid and like kind of raining off the ground, it's just a Monday. Monday's are slow. How many times a day do you have to tell people that you don't have the ingredients for the drink they want? Oh my god. <laughs> Is it a lot? Yes. Yeah, I'd say... I would say most cars, but... Around half. Are people nice about... I cannot get this lid on. Are people nice about it or are they rude? Uh, most of the time they're nice. That's the good thing. Is most of the time people are nice, but then you just get those couple customers that throw a fit. You say Dunkin' Donuts is right down the street. <laughs> exactly. Have a good one, thank you. You too, see you Peter. All right. Okay, let's try the strength, here we go. Looks good, kind of. <laughs> it looks chocolatey. Oh my God. Okay. This is delicious. This is like, if a dark chocolate bar were a cup of coffee, that's what this tastes like. So if you like dark chocolate, you will love this. It is really, really good. Oh, this is a hands down a five out of five. This is delicious. Here, let me put the I know, you guys can't read the, go over to tellythebomb.com, give Holly the view. Yeah, this is a five out of five. 
I don't really taste much caramel in it. It just tastes very chocolatey, but it's good. Wow. All right. So, uh, five out of five for that one. And, um, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.